Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is August 20th, 2022. Um, we're gonna try to do maybe, let's just say a medium one, uh, and a bonus question for the day, and hopefully one that I haven't done, be well, it'll have to be one I haven't done before, but I'm gonna choose a medium one. Usually I don't choose the difficulty, but we did a hard one earlier, and I'm, I'm gonna take a nap before the contest that's in two hours. Uh, that's how I'm feeling right now, so let's get started, or uh, let's hopefully get started. Hopefully subscribe or whatever. Uh, so yeah, so hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know uh, what you want to, you know, see on here. Just me live solving. Okay, length of the longest Fibonacci sub uh, subsequence. Okay, so da 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 da. Given a strictly increasing array, forming length of the. Okay, so one two three five eight, one eleven twelve. Okay, so n is equal to a thousand. That's just something to keep in mind. Keep keep in mind. So n square is going to be good enough. Um, yeah, hmm, I'm trying to think what's the cleanest way of doing it. Um, I guess there isn't really that much difficulty, right? It's just brute force, maybe. Now, is that n cube? I think brute force, if you just start like by taking every two number and then expand out the sequence, that's going to be. Um, and cube, but can we build DP from that? Hmm. Let's say 12, 11, and then we go to 1. But that's also n cube if we are not careful, right? So we have to think about, okay, here. Um, does it have to start from any number? No, okay. Just want to make sure. Um, okay, and then, hmm, I mean, my other, my second thing is just thinking about DP, and DP is going to be, for example, 11, um, if we go backwards, then we can go 11, and 7, 4, and then, I don't know how to do this in a funky way, hmm, let me think about this. Even though this is only a medium, man, I was supposed to thinking about as you know just resting, but because this entire length can be forbidden. Oh well, okay, I see. So I think one observation which I did not make because I was just thinking about a generic on a general case. One optimization that you can think about is that well, n is over only a thousand, but it cannot be a thousand length. Why? Because also, this is strictly increasing. I was just trying to wondering if, you know, you can go backwards. So if it's strictly increasing, that will always be left away, which is something that's simplifying. But because this is 10 to the 9, and 10 to the 9 is... Um, so the Fibonacci kind of grows relative to about like 1.6 to the n. Um, and that's, you know, less than or, or slower than 2 to the n. Um, but that also means that, let's say, you know... Uh, um, that means that at most there'll be, say, uh, sixty operations, right? Um, let's say there is sixty operations. I don't know the actual math. What's one? What's uh? But you, the actual math is ten to the nine. Um, log of base one point six or something like that, right? Um, so this ten to the nine. Uh, I'm trying to find. Hmm. I actually don't know how to do it, but oh, I guess I could use Google. Uh, 10 to the 9, 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, uh, log base uh, 1.6 of this, right? Uh, okay, Google is not really telling me that, but anyway, my point is that it'll be less than like 40 or 50 or something like this, right? So that means that now for every pair, we, are, we can just, it only goes up to 50 wide. I think that's basically the idea, and from that we can just look at do it in a brute force way. Um, I think this is sl still a little bit sloppy in Python, in that maybe a little bit too slow, but I think it should be okay, right? So basically, yeah, for i in range of uh, 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 n, say, and then for j in range of i plus one and 
and then now you know you have i j right and then now you have, you're trying to find um k so or whatever so you have a b is equal to um r sub i r sub j and then while so c is equal to a plus b and then while c is in set you know we we have uh count is equal to two uh this this count is equal to two and while c is then we increment by, by one and then we have you know bc is equal or uh, sorry a b is equal to um b a plus b maybe i could just do while b is an s uh, yeah maybe something like that maybe while b is an s and then we do this right um yeah and this will one out in at most like 30 or 40 so then here we can you know get the answer that way there are also maybe some optimizations that you we can do as well but but let's see if this works to kick it off um again this is more should be correct unless i have some weird typo but it's all about the tle so let's give a submit and then see how that goes this is of course also not one million it's not n squares and choose two so that's half as fast maybe um oh snap Oh, because it has to be at least. Does it have to be at least three or something? Oh, n has to be at least three. Okay, fine. So I messed up there because I was a little bit lazy. Um, oops, no, don't show me. One button. I just wanted to put in here. Uh, silly mistake. But hopefully I'm getting this out of the way for this practice and not doing a contest. I actually was thinking about it while I was writing it, but then I just forgot. I'm really sloppy on the memory these days. Um, okay, so that looks good. Uh, two seconds. Uh, yeah, and this is going to be n square. Um, the, the key thing is that knowing that this goes out of bounds in like 30 to 40 attempts. So this will always be false anyway pretty soon. Um, is there a better? Okay, so this is basically it. Um, yeah, so 43 terms. I, I, that was the number I was looking for. Um, DP, I was also thinking about DP. But I didn't know if there was going to be a way where... Like, I, I could, couldn't figure out... Because um, I didn't think that this was going to be fast enough. Or, like, I, I didn't think that, like, the constants are big. But, oh, well. Um, that's pretty much all I have. Let me know what you think. I need to be, uh, this is self-analysis is that I really need to be not doing these silly mistakes. I've been doing that too many times on the contest. Um, like this exact thing, even as I figured it out. So, uh, so, uh, but this one's a good practice for me. Um, I, I used to be okay at it, but I feel like recently I've been bad about it, which is to look at constraints very tightly, um, with respect to this particular thing, because then now, it goes up to 43 or something like that, right? Um, and then this is uh, half a million, say. So for, like it takes 20 million operations in the worst case, which is fast enough. But yeah, uh, cool. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you did this problem. Let me know if you got it with no issues because Larry is a little silly today. But yeah, uh, stay good, stay healthy, take good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.